I can tell you a story about Bob Wise because he was lovely. I had, I was a sound assistant with Alan Soans, who was a member of our guild, but he's been dead for many, many years. And, and I was working with Ernie Walter, who was cutting the picture. And then, uh, which often happened in those days, when the sound editor came on, the picture editor went over to help him as well. And that was one of the most interesting times because we had to create all these weird effects. And we went into a theatre at MGM and Bob Wise sat sort of three quarters of the way down with a light behind him reading or writing. But he wanted to be in the theatre all the time. Alan and I were trying to create all these effects with a sound mixer. And the sort of daft things, I mean, we had sort of metal letters, we'd climb up and then we'd throw radiators off onto the ground. We put sort of, we blew balloons up with lead shot in. I mean, just because in those days you didn't have a library for anything and you couldn't, couldn't make them like all you guys and girls now. You can create your sound effects on some electronic machine. If anyone needs to see a really good horror movie, it still works today. <laughs> And the sound is particularly impressive. <laughs> Thank you very much.